Hello, this is Greg Valoria, A.K. Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. We visited Atmel at the last Maker Fair and talked to IoT with Atmel's Bob Martin and a bunch of their maker entrepreneurs building the Atmel IoT ecosystem. Let's take a look. My my name is Bob Martin. I'm the senior applications manager for Atmel. So I take care of our customers, and I also take care of Maker Fair. And here we are again, uh, year five, I believe. In the IoT space, um, you know, as we tour around the booth, one, you'll notice a couple things. Uh, the booth here at Maker Fair for us, it's about the makers and the successes we've had. We're not here just shilling. It's not a corporate trade show, right? We don't have a bunch of boards sitting out. It's it's not about us. It's about them and how they've used our technology and the ease of use of our technology to implement their IoT solution. And with that, let's take a look around the booth and see what we've got to show for you in terms of the IoT space and the cloud and all the other goodness that is Maker Faire. Hello, my name is uh, Filippo Jacob. I'm the CEO of uh, Primo, and uh, we are the creators of uh, the Cubetta robot. So the robot it means the little cube in Italian, and you can see why that's his name. And uh, he's in his world, and you have this programming interface and a set of very distinct um, blocks that can control them. You have the Hi, my name is Lei. I'm co-founder and CEO of Tapper. We make the drum pants. Drum pants are wearable controllers that you can wear on your body and then tap them to make music. They're a class compliant MIDI device or you can map these triggers to different types of keystrokes so you can play video games. My name is Phil Strong. I'm the CEO of Zimbits. See, this is Zimbits first product. This is the integrated package for IoT, Internet of Things applications. It includes an interactive display, a motherboard, and software, all put together in a professional grade product. Okay. Uh, my name is Amr Saleh from Integrate. Uh, uh, we built uh, the One Shield, which is, uh, sits on top of the Arduino and allows your smartphone to be any Arduino shield. Uh, here we use uh, the accelerometer sensor in a smartphone to control this uh, robot arm. And the code is pretty simple, just one line of code. Uh, so we use these uh, sensors in the phone to control the six servo motors on the robot arm. And uh, as you can see, you can uh, rotate it, uh, open the grabber, close it, and so on. My name is Gwen Atnair. Uh, my company is Q Techno, and I'm the CEO. So my product, the Q Techno, is uh, a building block for makers. Uh, it helps people design uh, their first project or their second or third. Um, it's basically an Arduino, uh, tiny, shrunk down, um, and it has a battery charger and a battery fuel gauge built in. So not only can you tell uh, when it needs to be recharged, but uh, you can just plug in USB. It has an auto switching charge circuit built in. So this is Little Bits, which is basically a realization of Lego and electronics. And it's a very brilliant concept because it uh, takes into account that electronics is, is kind of tough to get your head around sometimes, but they've really taken it, the simplicity to a building block level. 